What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Figure It Out! Out of the Basement's action figure podcast slash talk show. Of course, I'm Nate, joined with Justin. What's up, guys? Today, we've got an awesome top five wish list for you. We're going to be going through our top five Black Series wish list for Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. The brand new video game that was recently released. We yeah. both played it. We both loved it. We both beat it. Yeah. Quick thoughts on the game. Loved it. Really loved good. Loved the combat. Loved the customization. Yeah. It's it's weird playing a game in 2019 and you just unlock cosmetics. You don't have to pay <laughs> for them. No microtransactions. I think <clears throat> the game had a pretty cool balance of familiar planets and new planets true and like new environments but you even learn more about environments that you already know like Kashyyyk you explore Kashyyyk even further true which I thought was really cool you get to see some familiar faces some familiar faces if you read the Charles Soul Darth Vader comic which we did so true. that kind of helped add a little extra context very true especially with the Inquisitors yeah so. the the Inquisitor stuff was awesome yeah I l really enjoy Cal Kestis as a character he might be a little by the numbers, but I really liked him. I thought yeah. he was uh, charming. I like him. Uh, with that being said, some people might consider some things on this list spoilers. Our number one pick is 100% a spoiler. <laughs> True. So if you have not played the game, you might want to wait to watch this video until later. For sure. But with all that being said, if you are enjoying Figure It Out, don't forget to like and subscribe for more. Mm -hmm. Let's jump right into it. We've got a few honorable mentions. Our first one being Taryn Malikos. He's got two lightsabers and he looks cool. <laughs> He's shirtless. <laughs> he has some cool like chest Scar know, scars. Yeah, like or scarification like... or something. But two red lightsabers. So we do not have a dual wielding red lightsaber character in the Black Series yet. True. And he's just sort of a unique look. And I like the background of his character, that being like he was a Jedi who just kind of said, fuck it. But he's a dark side user, but he's not like a Sith. Right. But he still has the red lightsabers and he hangs out on Dathomir for some reason. He's, he's a one off. Well, he's so like that's the... why he's on the honorable mention. Yeah, true. There's just not enough of him as a character in the game. So another. Honorable mention is the rocket trooper, and by rocket trooper, I mean the trooper with the rocket launcher. Yeah. It's basically a stormtrooper, which they already have the mold, add a red pauldron, I believe, and then the rocket launcher. Because we don't have a rocket launcher in the Black Series, I don't think. True. And I think it would be awesome. It would be a nice little variation, be super easy for Hasbro yeah, to another do. Another stormtrooper, just slap the red pauldron on there, make a new mold for the rocket launcher call it a day gaming greats 24.99 at gamestop <laughs> yeah right see i'm just feeding you these ideas i mean hasbro washes our videos yeah, we need a spoon here for hasbro here comes the train and then our final honorable mention is a purge trooper with the vibro staff weapons i don't know if they're exactly vibro staffs i think they are because they make like the same <clears throat> sound effect as like general grievous's henchmen True. robots well they do have the like staff version and then they also have the like right the, there's like four different versions the of two. the purge stripper there's the one with the blaster which is the one we have in the black series which we don't have in the black series because it's just impossible to find that figure true it unless is. you pre-ordered a physical copy of the game with the figure but i thought since it was a gamestop exclusive it would have just been at gamestop yeah we usually don't have problems with gamestop exclusives true i mean it could be something that comes down the road and we just got to wait a little bit longer. Yeah. Of course, not going to cave to the scalpers right. for uh, this figure. But yeah, the right. standard Black Series release has just the blasters, yeah. which that enemy, that purge trooper type is in the game. But I definitely feel like you see the ones with the staffs yeah. and the two handheld vibro yeah. weapons. Which, to a clarify, lot there's four <laughs> different iterations of the purge trooper. There's the one with the gun, the blasters. There's one with like one single vibro staff and there's one that kind of, he kind of dual wields the baton i he's yeah. called like the baton purge trooper and then there's one with the vibro hammer oh yeah i forgot <laughs> about that one so i mean i would be fine with either, any of those purge trooper. but they could do like a cool purple kind of electric effect on the ends of them yeah some nice optional peg in peg out translucent plastic yeah. perhaps 
Especially like the way they've been doing with the Power Rangers Lightning Collection where almost every single figure has come with an effect piece. Mm -hmm. Maybe we could start getting that in the Black Series. And this could mean that we could, since it is the same helmet, we could get a 212th Airborne Trooper, which was on our top five wish list for Revenge of the Sith. True. Because that is the same exact helmet. Just paint it differently, Hasbro. Just paint it differently, put it on the 212th clone body, add the ammo <laughs> strap or something, you know? Yeah. Give us something, and I really hope they do the 212th Airborne Trooper. I feel like now that we have the 100% accurate mold, the helmet already exists. It's just a matter of time. Right. It's just a matter of time. Yep. Okay, get on it. Hear me out. Before we get into our top five, Purge Trooper 4-pack. <laughs> Four Purge Troopers just comes with every single weapon you could possibly want for them. Or just one Purge Trooper with all the weapons? Maybe. But it's a trooper. You can't have I mean, just true, one. But maybe what they could do to kill two birds with one stone is just have the big Vibro Staff detachable. So you could have... The, the batons or the one big vibro staff and we'll just never get the hammer because they're never going to do that yeah true that would be the one they'd be like nah yeah nah. so moving on to number five we are in our list right now and this is a common enemy you see in the game but if you guys have been watching the channel for a long time you know me and jarek are a sucker for scout troopers so coming in at number five is the scout trooper with the pauldron and the uh vibro staff weapon all right the sort of commander. Of course, there's the standard scout troopers that don't have the pauldron on them that still have the staff, but... And there's even the regular stormtroopers that have the orange pauldron. And True. they have a little bit more health. Yeah. But the scout troopers have the vibro staff, and it's just, it's very satisfying to fight that enemy in the game. True. And again, it's a easy, it'd be an easy one for them to make, because obviously they even have the scout troopers in the archive wave, so that mold is fresh in their memory. Not that they would have to do anything with their memory, but you know what I mean. True. And they would just have to make the Vibro Staff for it. And they already have an Orge Pauldron from the uh, Sand Trooper. So it would be a pretty easy figure for them to make. I, and, like, we have a Cal Kestis figure and a Ninth Sister figure. So I just think it would be cool to get more of the... You know, this is a rather common character in the game, but something for else for Cal to fight. True. True. Coming in at number four is Cal Kestis's master, Jaro Tarpal? Tarp? Tarpal? Tapal? Something is Tapal because Roos Tarpal is a uh, right, dungeon. Right, right, yeah. Jaro Tapal. Obviously, we don't get a lot of information about Jaro, but the moments he is in the game are really cool. I definitely like those moments where, like, Cal remembers a power that he has to use in a certain situation and. It does that by showing you a flashback. Mm -hmm. You even get a great uh, scene that I won't spoil. But yeah, he seems cool. Another lightsaber wielding character. Cal's lightsaber is actually his lightsaber. Yeah, just cut in half. Right. So potentially it's a the other ignition thing is the emitter is the same design. Right. So they already have the mold for it. They just combine it and do two blades. And then if it is the same species as Zeb, they could use that same mold. True. No, there's that, just a different head. And it would be cool, because I feel like we generally don't get any of the bigger characters, like, in terms of, like, size in the Black series. Mm -hmm. So he would obviously be, like, a much larger, hulking Jedi. Mm -hmm. I think that would be a cool, really cool display piece. So, yeah, Jaro to Paul. Coming in at number three is another design that if you know me and Jayrick, you know we're suckers for it. And that is the Flamethrower Trooper. Uh, you go to Kashyyyk in the game. And there are some flamethrower troopers, and they're basically the Empire Strikes Back snow trooper with a little sort of... With a little twist. Gas mask apparatus thing on their face. Right. And a giant flamethrower. It's just a really cool design. That's literally the beginning and end of that one. Which is funny, because we usually complain about new trooper designs. True. But these ones are, like, subtle. It's not like a 100% different trooper that's just randomly out of nowhere. Like, I could believe there's a small sect of, of troopers that wear the snow trooper armor, but they just have like a little breathing apparatus right. on them. It, it, it makes sense to me. It's not mm -hmm. like a 100% new trooper and you're like, where did he go? Scarif? <laughs> Where'd they go? 
I mean, you could say the same thing for Death Troopers, but... Well, but Death Troopers pop up in other media, like Rebels and the true, Mandalorian true. trailer. Yeah. So at the very least, they try to connect the dots in some ways, but Scarab Troopers, Hover Tank Pilot, Pimp Daddy Trooper, they're just gone forever. Yep. They just existed in that one moment, and that's yep. it. Coming in at number two is the Ninth Sister, which again... How awesome would it be to just have a massive ninth sister this figure? Is like a, it'd be like a build a figure level. I was I was thinking like even though she's not the same size, but Hasbro's recent Hulk figures, which have even had like butterfly joints and like crazy yeah. articulation for how big they are. Like I'm just thinking about that sort of scheme translating into a ninth sister and I'm yeah. like Oh, I would and love that I figure. I love the design. Like, I don't know the alien species, but she is an alien. And, but, like, the visor mm -hmm. thing. And then you could also put the visor up. Or she's also in the Vader comic. True. The Charles Soule Vader comic. And there's a nice little story bit between her and Vader in there. So, again, like, I think reading that actually helped me appreciate the game even more. True. Because the second sister and the ninth sister are both in that comic. Yeah. She would just be a giant, massive Sith. Well, they're not Sith. Dark Side Force users. Dark Side Force users with corrupted kyber crystals because they're former Jedi. Yes. But that was such a great fight scene Yeah. in Fallen Order. And they already have the mold for the lightsaber, too. True. Although I feel like it would have to be bigger for her. Because otherwise she'd be holding a little tiny baby lightsaber. Uh, I don't know, though. I think it might be the same size. I think we might be overestimating how large she is a little bit. Could be. Perhaps. And then, finally, drum roll. If you are watching this video and you still have not finished the game or gotten to the major reveal in the game, click off one last time. <laughs> click off. Yes. Our number one character for this wish list would be Trilla, which, as you find out later in the game, is the second sister. Trilla is Seer's former Padawan, who was, after Seer was tortured, was found, and then tortured and turned into an Inquisitor. And she's just a really compelling character. Oddly, like, I wanted more of Seer and Trilla's relationship in the game. I think it's an interesting premise that the master was being tortured and gave up her padawan yeah and then her padawan becomes like this super powerful inquisitor adds a little bit more to it although as soon as in the game seer says oh my padawan died i was like oh okay so the nice pause <laughs> there yeah she died i was like yeah, so she's going to be someone later in the game. And then it turns out, yeah, the second sister yeah. is Trilla. So she's got some really cool moments with with Cal as well. You get moments of where, like, you don't know, maybe Cal's sort of thinking, like, eh, maybe she's got the right idea. Because at first, Seer isn't truthful with Cal. Right. And Of course. Yeah. But so there was a moment there where I was kind of like, oh, is Cal going to, like... Well, because you got to think, like... It... He kind of has to die? Because why That's... wouldn't... Because it's a canon game, and why wouldn't he be in any of the other stuff? True. Continuity-wise? I... Right. And if you've beat the game, you know that he doesn't die. He doesn't turn to the dark side. It kind of ends... The story of the game ends, but it also is kind of like, let's go on our next adventure. All right. So I hope they don't just go, oh, he's going to go into hiding. And he's, li he's going to live a peaceful life. I mean, it is a big galaxy. True, but how many fucking Jedi go into hiding at this point? Well, All, I, Every I single was, one of them? I was thinking about that. And I, you know I me, mean? I love the number crunch. Yeah. I'm, I'm the Game of Thrones army soldier number cruncher. And True. I'm the Jedi number cruncher. True. So I went to Googling, and look, according to Wikipedia, there were around 10,000 Jedi at the beginning of the Clone War. So you gotta think, probably what, less than a hundred die? Or less than a thousand die in the Clone Wars? If there's 10,000, like a handful of them die in the Clone Wars TV show, but you know, who knows how many True. die? I'd say less than a thousand. All right, less than a thousand. All right, I'm following. So there's still probably over 9,000 at the time of the Purge. So even if it was like super efficient, they kill like 
8,900. Like, it, if, even if it's super efficient, I think it's realistic that maybe, like, around 100 Jedi survived the initial Order 66. Like, if there was literally 10,000 Jedi yeah. at the beginning of the Clone Wars, I, mean, I think it's realistic that maybe 100 survived the Purge. You're not wrong. It's just, at this point, it's like a meme almost. How many Jedi go into hiding, come out of hiding. True, but, <laughs> I mean, it's kind of, I think it's realistic, because you would go into hiding if you were a Jedi. Well, right. Like, Kanan. Yeah. Well, he he's part of Ghost Crew. Ezra doesn't count, because he was, he didn't know that he was Force-sensitive until Kanan discovered him. So, Kanan, Cal, Obi-Wan, Yoda, like, who else, really? There's more. I just can't think of it off the yeah, top of my head. Yeah, that is weird. Because I think there's more as well. There's stuff in the Vader comic. Oh, Jocasta New. Yeah. Um, that guy with, like, the horns. Right. He that's, goes... Like, that's only, like, ten so far around. But I don't know. I think it would, <laughs> it, it would just be cool to see Cal maybe not die, but maybe turn to the dark side, become an Inquisitor. You do have that vision of him becoming an Inquisitor. Spoiler. We already said spoilers. Nah. So, you're right. <clears throat> if they're still tuned in right now, <laughs> there's nothing that can be done. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I just think it would be cool to do something like that with his story and not just end it with him. Oh, he's going, another Jedi goes into hiding. Let's do something cool with Cal's storyline, because obviously there's either going to be a sequel or DLC. True. Which I'm down for both. Either or, both, whatever you want. As long as it's going to maintain this quality, I'm here for it. Yeah. So those were our top five most wanted figures from Jedi Fallen Order. Of course, let us know who you would like to see in action figure form mm -hmm. from Jedi Fallen Order. Maybe a cow with the right color hair. Maybe a cow with purple lightsaber, dual wielded lightsaber. Or poncho. Or a cow that just comes with like 50,000 accessories. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So you can emulate... You get to build your own lightsaber, but it's in Black Series form. Yeah, and it's like super tiny. Yeah. It's like just as detailed as the game, but oh, it's not... <laughs> but you're sitting there like putting the little pieces together. Yeah. So let us know in the comments down below. Of course, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you are new. We're always talking about adult collectible action figures that are certainly not for people 13 or under. Blu-rays, movies... So if any of that sounds interesting to you, you're in the right spot, smash that subscribe button. Of course, I'm Nate, joined with Justin. See you guys later. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you guys next time on Out of the Basement.